Welcome to the course. I'm Daniel, and I'm so excited to be your guide to this Scala and functional programming journey. This video will serve as a short introduction to how this course is structured and how to approach it. So this is your course dashboard. And first of all, check out the welcome message, which you can find near your profile picture. I might actually get in touch with you personally to ask how you're doing or address any questions or concerns. Speaking of which, if you have any questions, feel totally free to check out the course Q&A. I'm usually quick to respond and fellow students also jump in. So, having set that aside, let's talk about the course structure. First of all, we'll obviously start with the essentials, including general things like defining values, expressions, and functions, along with some Scala-specific concepts like tail recursion. Then, we'll move on to see how Scala is actually one of the languages closest to the object-oriented ideal. And as you can see, there's a truckload of stuff to learn in this section. The next section is a big practical project that will solidify what we've learned in the past sections. After this one, we'll move on to the exciting stuff, as we will discover functional programming, how it's implemented under the hood, and how to operate with higher order functions on collections. And the last lecture section is shorter and discusses pattern matching, which is one of the most powerful Scala features, and we'll go into this topic in real depth. So having discussed the structure, let's make sure we have a good development environment installed. If you don't have a good development environment already installed on your computer, go to jetbrains.com and go install IntelliJ IDEA for Java and Scala. Click on this download button and go install the community edition for your platform, Windows, Linux, or Mac. After you download and launch the installer, the setup should be really straightforward. And at the first launch, IntelliJ will ask you if you want to install the Scala plugin, which of course for this course I recommend you do. And after you've installed everything, your welcome screen should look something like this. And I want you to go ahead and create our first project where we will write our entire code for this course. So click on create new project. And in the following dialog box that pops up, select Scala on the left, and very importantly, IDEA on the right. This creates an empty Scala project for this course. Click on Next. Name this project however you want. I'm going to name it Rock the JVM Scala Beginners. You can pick and choose the location where you want to store it. And then, very importantly, you need to set up a JDK, that's a Java development kit, and a Scala development kit. For the JDK, version 1.8 works best for this course. If you don't have JDK 1.8, I suggest you go to the Oracle homepage. So, JDK 1.8 download, and go to the Oracle homepage and install a Java Standard Edition Development Kit 8 for your platform then the Scala SDK should be already be installed by the Scala plugin for IntelliJ. So select Scala SDK 2.12, whatever version you have installed. At the moment of this recording, I'm going to work with 2.12.6. Then click on Finish. So we've just set up our first empty Scala project. I want you to go ahead and uncollapse Rock the JVM Scala Beginners. And under the Source folder, I want us to create three packages for this course. The first package that I want to create is a package where we will store some of the exercises for this course. So right click on the source folder, so right click, new, package, and name this exercises. Then uncollapse the source folder and create two more packages. So right click new package, I'm going to name this lectures, this is where we will store most of the code that we will write in this course during the lectures. So click on OK. And then the third package is going to be a playground. So right click on source again, new package. And let's name this playground. And here is the place where I recommend that you try your own code and test different things throughout the course. And just to make sure that our project works correctly, I'm going to go to this playground package and I'm going to create two things. I'm going to create a new Java class, and I'm going to name this Java Playground. 
and I'm going to create another thing under the same playground package, a new Scala class, and I'm going to name this Scala Playground. And just to make sure that things work fine, in the Java Playground class, let's write the following. I'm just going to write a simple main function that prints something to the console. If you've done Java before, that should be a piece of cake. If you haven't, please write what I'm saying. So public static void main and as arguments string with a capital S args and some square brackets. Write system dot out dot print line and as a string hello Java and a semicolon at the end. And right click and run this. Just a bit of time to compile. And then we should see this string printed to the console. In the Scala file, just write, instead of class, make it an object. We're going to discuss what objects are in the object-oriented section in this course. And then at the end, extends app with a capital A. This will automatically insert a main function for this object. And inside, just write print line, hello Scala, without any semicolons. And again, just right click and run this. And this prints hello Scala, which tells us that we've set up Scala correctly for this project. So we should be ready to go. Before we move on to write some actual code, I just wanted to let you know that everything that we write in this course will be available onto our GitHub page at github.com forward slash rock the JVM. And you will have the repository with every single piece of code that we write in this course with the latest updates. All right, enough talking. Have fun in the course because we're playing with some really cool mental models. This technology is awesome and you will learn to rock it. So take a comfy seat and let's get started in the next video. Mm -hmm.